Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the channel where I do more useless stuff that you guys may or may not be interested in. Today, we're doing a little bit of a built-in standard straight out of camera color profile test, and uh, I just I just thought this would be interesting. What are the actual color differences um, from the standard profile that Fuji and Canon intend for you to see? So here's how I set the whole thing up. We put the 50 millimeter 1.8. This bad boy right here. Oh, this is the 16. Similar size. The 50 millimeter 1.8 on the Canon R6, and I put the 35 f/2 on the Fuji X-T3, and I went and put the X-T3 in standard profile, which is Provia. Now, in saying that, would Asti have been better? Would uh, some of the other simulations been better? Maybe, but I can't pick them all. And I put the Canon on also the standard profile. Again, there's like faithful, and there's neutral, and there's other ones. You can argue those. And I wanted to shoot the 518 versus the 35 f2 to see what differences actually exist. And so what I'm going to do is play five, I think it's five, maybe six different photos for you guys, comparing A to B, and I want you guys to choose which one you like more. So I'll pause the video now, throw a little music on, and come back. So what did you guys choose? Was it A or was it B? All of A was Fuji and all of B was Canon. And there's a couple giveaways in that that I thought were obvious. One, the Fuji colors seem to lean towards more of the green or, or kind of the punchy colors. Um, and the depth of field is just a little bit different, whereas the Canon colors are definitely more magenta. That's an obvious giveaway. Now, uh, in some of those, I shot the lenses both wide open, so you'll see the depth of field difference. And some of them I stopped down to equivalency. So if like f4 versus f5.6, or f5.6 versus f8, uh, to kind of keep things as close as possible. But I found it kind of interesting because I realized in that in some of the photos, like the one of the plant, I like the greens out of the Fuji a lot more. But I actually prefer that little uh, teal bird feeder thing and the picture of the gnome. I like the way the canna looks better. Uh, more kind of that that brighter, more magenta type of look. Um, and so I thought this was kind of interesting. I mean, this isn't scientific. This doesn't prove anything. You'll shoot raw. It doesn't really matter. Um, I thought the depth of field differences weren't as great as I expected them to be. So I thought that was kind of interesting because 35 f2 is equivalent to like f3 depth of field, whereas f1.8 is f1.8. I mean, you can see some of the fall off differences. It's noticeable, but it's not like punchy in the face noticeable. Um, and so I just wanted to show you guys that. And I'll tell you so far, after three or four days of playing with the Canon R6, um, it's interesting because this camera is like a cheat mode for anything, autofocus, video, whatever. Ergonomically, it's laid out really, really well. Um, I still, though, I still like picking up the X-T3, to be honest with you guys. Um, just because I kind of prefer the way Fuji has some of their stuff. But maybe it's just muscle memory. Maybe it's just some muscle memory. Um, in any case, I uh, just wanted to show that to you guys. Oh, one other thing. Remember I mentioned my X-Pro3 having some focusing issues here and there? Now, this is a pretty rare occurrence, but I noticed that my X-T3 did it for the first time since I've been paying attention. If you look at the picture of my son, and I'll enhance the photo here for you guys, um, you can see that the Fuji eye detection did not realize this closest eye, which is kind of closed, was was an eye, and it focused on the back eye, um, and because I had face face eye detection on. So uh, the one thing that's obviously abundant between the two cameras, if if you played with both, the Canon autofocus tracking and like recognition 
is it's something it's something it's I think it blows Sony out of the water. I, I mean I mean out of the water, but it's better than Sony. From the ones I've used anyways. I've never played with the new Z9, so I have no idea what that's like. But it's like a cheat code on that thing. It's really, really, really good. Um, some of the controls are different. I still prefer the control layout, I think, of the Fuji. But um, like I said, muscle memory could be the thing. All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick video. I do this stuff for myself. I have fun with it, so I share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, this doesn't prove anything. It's not scientific. It's just what it is. I was gonna go edit the raw files, but then what does that prove? It's just the way I edit raw files. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one, bye.